Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 111 and today we're going to be looking at what Blender can do without using any add-ons. If you search anything about Blender, you're going to see a lot of add-ons and I'm guilty of that because I make a lot of videos showing what add-ons can do, how they can make Blender more powerful and uh, more useful. As a beginner, you might think that Blender can't do anything without add-ons. So in this video, we're just going to create a simple city uh, like uh, what I'm showing right now without any use of add-ons or any external plugins, extensions, all that. Just the default blender download before i forget you can download this project for free i'm going to be leaving links in the description so let's jump right in so for a project like this where you know what the end result is going to look like so i know that the camera is going to be overlooking the city moving ahead like a drone shot it's good to set up the camera first and maybe even set up the animation first the drone movement a bit so that you know what is going to be visible within your camera uh, that way you can focus on that area only and that's what i'm doing here i'm also setting up some cubes to act as placeholders for my final buildings. I also know that this is going to be a nighttime scene so I'm turning down the strength of the environment to zero so that I don't have any of that ambient lighting coming in. So I'm just using an area light, a very large area light to act as the sky and I'm giving it a bluish tint to, these, to the color so that it gives us that moonlight in the sky. Volumetrics do wonders for these types of scenes. They make them look better and they're also good at hiding areas that are missing detail. So here we're going to use two types of volumetrics. One is just going to be ambient volumetrics which is just basically throwing in a principal volume so that areas that are far from the camera have dense fog and then areas that are close to the camera are clear and easy to see and that way we don't have to add uh, street details like cars lamps uh, it's good to hide details that way and it also looks good in camera then the next volumetric we're going to use is for wind we want to add in some bit of wind in the in the render because i think it looks really good as well and uh, cities like this also have always have wind going in in their scene so, so volumetrics can be used for three major things one is to hide missing detail the second thing is to add realism because fog dust wind are all things you expect in a city and volumetrics are a way to show that and then three is just looks for the looks volumetrics look beautiful so that's why we're going to be using them here so as you can see wind is quite easy to show using volumetrics you just add a noise into the density or emission if you want to use emission use a color ram to add in some contrast and then you can animate the coordinates the x or y coordinates of uh, the noise using drivers just type in hash frame divide by 50 or 100 depending on the speed you want i also usually like to animate the z component of the noise so that it kind of uh animates within to make the noise more interesting you can always play around with these settings and see what works for your scene so from here it's basically texturing adding some lighting and uh, adding some details to our models you're going to see me progress through that uh, in the time lapse so let's just jump right into that
So that was our set we created without the use of any add-ons. If you want to get the project files, links are going to be in the description. And if you like this format of videos, let me know in the comments. Also, you can leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.